Have you ever pondered why some nations brim with intellectual brilliance while others experience an exodus of their brightest minds? This intriguing phenomenon is termed as brain drain and brain gain, and today's discussion orbits around Dr. Hua A. Lim's insightful perspectives on these concepts. Dr. Lim is not just a knowledgeable observer of this phenomenon, but has himself journeyed through a multitude of academic and professional experiences spanning different countries, making his insights all the more valuable. In an era where intellectual property supersedes raw materials and capital, Dr. Lim emphasizes the role of free and cheap knowledge flow in shaping our world. From the aftermath of the Second World War up to recent times, the US, for instance, financed much of the basic research encouraging global dissemination of knowledge, a fundamental tenet of globalization. However, Dr. Lim underlines that the world has changed. The economic supremacy of the US is no longer as pronounced and a new world order is emerging. Delving into the concept of brain drain, Dr. Lim describes it as the migration of individuals with advanced training. This movement of skilled workers represents a brain gain for the countries that welcome their skills and experience and a brain drain for their countries of origin. Countries are increasingly tailoring their immigration policies to attract international workers and students with desirable skills, while assessing the developmental impacts of losing educated workers. Drawing from his own personal journey, Dr. Lim critiques the myopic view of keeping talented foreign students out of US universities or laboratories. He points out that these individuals are often the cream of the crop from their home countries, which have invested heavily in their early education. Retaining them post-training is a gain for the host country and a loss for their homeland, a practice that has contributed to US-S technological dominance. He emphasizes that these individuals, given a choice, prefer to stay and contribute to the nation they've chosen as home. What different countries want, need and should have from an intellectual property system, he argues, is a function of the level of economic development. Dr. Lim maintains that while the US aspires for a de facto international system, this may not materialize as countries playing catch-up seek a world system that allows them to succeed. On the issue of brain drain or brain gain, Dr. Lim offers a fresh perspective. He considers trade wars, tech wars, and barring talented foreign students as narrow-minded approaches, which could lead to a decline in technological prowess in the long run. He advocates for free information flow, which has always been a key driver of progress. In conclusion, Dr. Lim contends that brain gain or drain is a zero-sum phenomenon. What one country gains, another loses. However, when information flows freely, it's a win-win situation for all. The question then is, are we ready to adapt and evolve for a more inclusive, intellect-rich world?